Allied advance in Italy. Foggia airfields captured by the British. Naples sacked by the retreating Nazis, now in Allied hands as the American Fifth Army takes the road to Rome. of destruction marked the Nazi retreat. American soldiers share field rations with people whose food was taken by Nazi looters. For one youngster, life begins amid scenes of death. An Italian baby born on the battlefield. Medical workers found the mother wounded by shrapnel. And American army nurses delivered her child in the field. As Allied troops advance along the Appian Way, officers of the general staff move up with their troops. General Eisenhower, supreme commander. General Clark, leader of the fifth. Planning the campaign. Allied ports come first pictures of huge invasion craft shuttling powerful armored divisions across the Mediterranean. These unusual vessels, brought across the Atlantic under their own power, land hundreds of tons of tanks and equipment ready for action right on the enemy's beaches. Serving aboard one is Randolph Churchill, commando son of Britain's Prime Minister. Anti-aircraft guns are ready, but the Nazi Air Force is conspicuous by its absence. Reinforcements rolling ashore in a never-ending stream. British, Canadians, Americans. The might and resources of the entire Allied war machine is now being hurled against the Nazis in Europe.